Top 6 Best Subwoofers in 2020 Number 6. Amazon Echo Sub The Amazon Echo Sub is quite an achievement, a wireless 6 inches subwoofer, in a surprisingly small frame, that delivers genuinely brilliant bass. It feels tight and compact, with great dynamics. It offers 100 watts of RMS power equal to the more expensive Yamaha NSSW050 yet it feels much louder, and easily filled our testing space. It's also a perfect solution for smart homes, especially for those who utilize Amazon Echo smart speakers. Sadly, despite its many positives, the Echo Sub has the same issues as the Sonos Sub. It operates in a closed ecosystem, meaning you can only use it with speakers made by the same manufacturer. In this case, those are Amazon's Echo line of smart speakers. Amazon has somehow created an excellent sub to complement their smart home line, while also managing to eliminate themselves from most conventional setups. Fortunately for Amazon, their Alexa-enabled devices are popular enough that many people will find a use for this sub. But if you're looking to beef up your home theater system, you're better off selecting another item from this list. Pros, huge volume and a compact frame. Cons, only works with echo speakers, coming in number 5. Sonos Sub. The biggest black mark against the Sonos Sub is that you can't use it with equipment from other manufacturers. Got an existing home theater setup? You, my friend, are out of luck. The subwoofer only works with other Sonos equipment, and while the company makes a real effort to ensure that the setup process and ease of use works well, you might want to steer clear of this if that lock-in is going to be a problem. The upside is that, if you're okay with using only Sonos gear, you'll be rewarded with some genuinely good sound quality. While the subwoofer is a little light on stats, it hardly matters. There's no need to set the crossover point when it's automatically tuned to all other speakers, guaranteeing you easy, clear, deep bass at all times. See our buying advice section, below, for more info on crossovers and how they work. We also really like the design, which allows you to put the subwoofer in just about any position, a boon for small spaces. What we like, terrific sound quality. What we don't, requires that you get locked into the Sonos ecosystem, coming in number 4. SVS SP3000 The SP3000 is the newest subwoofer model from the American legends at SVS, and we think it deserves to retain the crown of best high-end sub. As good as the previous model, the PB16 Ultra, was, it was also huge, ungainly, and way too much for most people. The SB3000 dispenses with those issues, taking everything the Ultra did well and housing it in a much more compact, affordable frame. Those with overly large rooms may need two of them to get the best sound, but for 90% of people, one of these will blow the damn walls off. One aspect we'd like to highlight is the excellent DSP, Digital Signal Processing. It allows a virtually infinite level of tweaking and means that you can get precise, controlled bass that still manages to ooze power. This sub particularly excels with movies and television, giving gunfire, explosions, and punches real weight in the low end. It's another winner for SVS, and right now, the only question is where on earth they go from here. What we like, builds on everything SVS does well. What we don't, large rooms may require too, coming in number 3. Mono price 9723. In the world of audio, there is no company that needs to have a corporate getaway more than Mono price. There is absolutely nothing wrong with them that a few shared joints and some vigorous sex wouldn't cure. This is a company with such a deficit of imagination that they don't even bother to give some of their product names. This one is called the 9723. But simply because a company has a boring identity doesn't mean they make boring gear. Mono Price have been massively successful, and one listen to this subwoofer will tell you why. It may not have the raw power of the Elac Debut 2.0 Sub 3030 or even the BIC America F12, but it delivers gorgeous sound quality, with huge, thumping energy but makes it sound a lot bigger than it is. 
and by stripping away all the design frivolities, Wano Price are able to offer this gem of a subwoofer for an absolutely knockdown price. If you are on a budget, this is the subwoofer you need to buy. What we like, excellent sound quality for the price. What we don't, such boring design they didn't even give it a name. Coming in number 2. BIC America F12. If this sub looked and sounded a little better, it would probably be at number 1 on this list, challenging the lack for top spot. As it is, it loses out to the model above it in both overall wattage and sound quality. It has a slight dip in detail, and a lower RMS wattage than the Elac. However, it's still one of our top picks, which means it must have something going for it. That something is the staggering value for money that you get from buying this particular subwoofer. If it was being offered at double the price, we wouldn't be surprised. Just because the sound quality isn't quite as good as the other models, doesn't mean it's bad. It still delivers a deep, extended, powerful bass effect, filling out the gaps in a home theater system nicely. For our money, it's the best subwoofer under $300, and although Big America have a teeth-grindingly dull corporate identity, in common with many sub-manufacturers, including Minnow Price, below, they make some good stuff. What we like, you get a staggering amount of sub for your money. What we don't see, dull looks, inferior to the Alac. Coming in number 1. Alak Debut 2.0 Sub 3030 Alak's super impressive Debut 2.0 line includes a subwoofer that we think is the best available right now. For most people, this superb subwoofer will be all they'll ever need, regardless of room size. At 500 watts RMS and 1000 peak, full breakdowns of those terms are in our buying advice, below, the Sub 3030 delivers more than enough grunt and the bass it puts out is solid and muscular. It satisfies whether you're watching movies, a series, or playing games. There are no physical controls. Instead, an Android and iOS app gives you access to all the functionality you need, including software that lets you fine-tune the sound to your listening environment. The sound isn't quite as deep or powerful as the SP3000, below but is more than rich and detailed enough to blast its way to the top of this list. The lack have produced a genuinely brilliant product here, and at a very affordable price. We never expected to get a subwoofer this good for under $1,000, but they more than delivered. If you want to give your home theater a kick up the backside, this is where you should start. What we like, value and sound quality are second to none. What we don't, won't satisfy those who like huge volume. 